minutes and this is our place. <laughs> this film is rated PG-13. Parental guidance suggested. There's violence, scary images, bad comedy, and it's starring Angeline Diaz, Liz Robleda, Edward Cubillo, and Xavier Lovato. Once long ago, in medieval Japan, lived an emperor named Raikou and an empress named Sakura. Sakura was expecting a baby. Raikou had a feeling of going to be a girl, so he decided she was going to be named Nanami. Oh, Raikou, isn't our little Nanami just so precious? Yes, indeed. She is just as beautiful as her mother. She will be a great emperor. She is going to be at the top of the social classes but she will be fair and understanding to her people. A couple years passed now, and Sakura had just reached the age of eight, but, but her, mo her mother grew very ill. The surge brought all the medicines the merchants had, but none of the medicines prevailed the illness. Father, will mother be okay? Listen, I mommy, mean, your mother is a strong woman. She will come out of this, and if she doesn't, well, let's not think about it, shall we? Sakura, come here, my darling. Yes, brother. I want you to have this. This is a lucky necklace. It has been in our family for generations. It has been passed down to my mother, to me, and now you. Whoa, Mom. Thank you. Nanami, it's getting late. You should go to bed. Okay, Mom. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. I love you. <laughs> Except Nanami never got to see her mom in the morning. Well, at least not baby. Years have passed since Nanami's mother died after Nanami experienced an awful event at a young age. She turned to grow up as a beautiful, strong woman. Nanami lo lost her mother at 8 years old, and Nanami is now 20 years old. Dang. Nanami, Nanami, Nanami! What is it? Wait, I'm coming. Okay, now. What's all the commotion? Nanami, I'm so sorry, but your fa fa father, he's gone. No, why does, it, why does it always happen to me? How did he die? I saw him in the morning, and he was seen perfectly healthy to me. He was assassinated. He drank something that was poison, and I know what's left to you. Here. I have assassinated our father. I'm going to claim my rightful place as emperor. I'm the dark past our father left behind. Oh no, this can't be. Do you know who left the snow? No, I'm sorry, princess, but we don't know who did it. I'm deeply sorry. I will get my revenge, right after my cup of noodles, because I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> Nanami was determined to find her supposedly brother, but she, but she, but before she could do that, she had to find a master who would be willing to teach her even as a girl. I'm sorry, Empress, I can't teach you the ways of the samurai even for you. Nanami looked far and wide, high and low, but no luck until she figured she can impersonate a man and betray that way. So as the night came, the Empress would become a warrior and search for a master, but first she, need, she needed a disguise. Nanami walked into a store and looked at various clothes until she, find what she, until she found what she wanted. Hey, you. Yeah, you were are going without pain. Pain? Don't you know who I am? I'm an, I mean a boy. Yeah, that. Yeah, I know who are you. You're a common thief. Now pay or leave. The only reason I'm acting this way is because the economy is bad and you the government needs more money so they charge us taxes and so it affects the economy society and well that's pretty much it. So yeah. Well if you went if you went you probably went to school, you learned this in history, you know. Nani thought of what to do, so she finally thought, I need this more than he does, so she ran. Thief, thief, don't let him get away. But of course she got away and she began her search. After a few hours, she <coughs> found a Ronin who was willing to teach others the way of the sword. It was a small academy, academy but it wasn't exactly what she needed. Hello, yes, I would like to enlist myself into your academy. What is this <coughs> man, a man of age 20 with the girl voice, ha, 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 ha. Haven't you heard of not reaching puberty yet? I have a friend who hasn't reached puberty either, and his name is Edgar. Oh, 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 oh.
Well, frankly, I don't care, but you think it got what it takes to be a samurai? Yes, I do. Well, okay, then you're in. Now, Nanami had taken the first step to be a samurai. Now that I will be teaching you, you have to call me a master for now. Yes, master. Okay, then let's get started. Three years had passed, and Nanami had already become empress <coughs> and became a samurai prodigy. Also, she had fallen in love with a man in her academy. Unfortunately, she, he thought she was a man. Of course, she couldn't stand it, so she was going to tell him today. Hey, Ren, can I talk to you? Um, sure, what's on your mind? Well, I've had a crush on you for a while. I'm going to stop you right there because I don't go that way. My orientation is straight. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I want to explain. Mr. Holderman, please report to the main office. Mr. Holderman, please report to the main office. Actually, I want to explain to you that I'm a girl. Uh, oh, thanks, goodness. It's that just that I began to have a feeling for you too, and I didn't know if I was beginning to go that way. Huh? Funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> so in that moment, Anami had told Ren everything from the beginning, and his reaction was well as you can imagine. Anyways, back to the story. In the year, Nanami and Ren got married, and that's when Nanami's brother strike again. And this time, he had kidnapped Ren, and Nanami's brother left another note this time, saying where Nanami had to go to find Ren and fight her brother. Ren! 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 Where are you? So actually came her. Huh? Well, sorry. I didn't plan a five-star party for you, welcome you, but to get you pumped, how about you face my pet, Fluffy? <laughs> A dragon just whipped out of the darkness and began throwing amazing fireballs. So soon as she, she did quick dodge from every attack, she went in for a quick slice to the leg and stabbed the wing and did a quick blow to the dragon's heart. I guess your plan's failed now. Hand over my husband. Come on, sis, don't you like to play? <laughs> the man jumped out of the shadows and went for a quick attack to Nanami, and she dodged it swiftly. Then as she went in for another attack, this went on for a, for a while until the man just got tired of playing cat and mouse, and then he just killed Ren. No! Why if my love is dead? Everyone I love is dead, and I have no reason for living. I'm glad you said that. The man went in for the final blow, but she was able to dodge it by an inch, and she disarmed him and tied him up and threw him to the ground. Why are you letting me live? I killed everyone you love, so do it. If I killed you, there wouldn't be a difference between you and me. But there is a difference. Difference. I am Empress Warrior, and you're a criminal. Nanami's brother was sent to immediate death, and Nanami lived the rest of her life. For her country, and was the most remembered Empress for her bravery. The end.